Here it is guys, the 36 volt Super Gaucho rebuild. If you haven't been following, you haven't seen the other videos, I'll put those right up above. So bam, click on those and catch up guys, cause this thing is the unicorn of kids ride-ons. So it was a basket case, super sun baked, and it didn't work because it had a defective controller. So I'm not quite done, but I wanted to show you guys what all was going on before I put the seats and stuff in so that you guys can get some ideas. So uh, we sandblasted and painted the rims in a, like a dark copper um, in the area where the old speed controller or main circuit board was, we put our 36 volt buck converter. I, some people call them a step down. So 36 volts comes out of the controller, but we needed 12 volts to go to the lights because we actually have working brake lights when the brakes come on. Um, underneath the hood here is where all the, the brains are. So that is a 36 volt, 1200 watt speed controller. That is the double pull, double throw relay in the middle there for uh, reverse. And that is our big step down converter for all the lights and the relay coils. And over here is just a terminal strip. You could add a ton more lights if you wanted. And then if you guys can see the three 12 volt, 10 amp hour Mighty Max batteries wired in series with a resettable 40 amp circuit breaker. So uh, we use Rust-Oleum. This is what we use, gloss sage green. Um, we were looking for a Toyota color. Um, can't recall what that is right now. But check it out guys, so this is what we did. Here's the ignition keys. Put the old key in the ignition. Doing this with my opposite hand. Turn it on. That powers up the speed controller. So now, when you press the gas pedal, just a little bit, it'll crawl. A little bit more. Medium speed. Pedal to the floor. Mechanical disc brakes, if you guys saw that in the other video. Um, it's actually got real disc brakes. And when you let off the brakes, the brakes go out. And when the brake is applied, it won't let you do throttle, so it won't do both. Um, yeah, so all I got really is put the seats on, and that's pretty much it, guys. We, re we did rebuild the mirrors, and I'll show you that. This is kind of the finished videos. These are the mirrors. Oh, uh, here's the other one. I don't know what the heck was on this one. It looks like a crime scene. But on Amazon, we found this uh, plastic mirror material. Now, when you do use this, be careful because I was cutting it and I wasn't super, super careful and it cracked uh, like a little bit. It turned out good. In the other videos, we talked about how we had to uh, use a heat gun on some of the parts. That is one of them. Um, we did not have a front bumper for this, so we custom fabricated this. This is a Power Wheels bumper, and we used eighth inch plate with um, three quarter inch square tube. That thing is a rock. And I personally think it looks a little bit better. The other one, I actually have one over here. Let me see oh, if I can grab it. All right, so this would be a stock one, personally. I think it's ugly and plus this one is like baked but um, that's what we ended up with guys we're gonna get it off the jack stands here and get this sucker listed for sale so if you're interested hit us up because it's gonna be available All right.